going on everybody today we are going over the witch or the the vich v-v-i-t-c-h i don't know why it's called that what's the mystery behind that why is there two v's instead of a w right there it doesn't say in the movie and in fact the title sequence never pops up i don't think so why is this called the v vich and the only thing i can come up with is that there's twins in here and the two V's kind of represent the twins, right? Maybe? I don't know. That's stretching, but I have no idea why it's called V-Vitch. Anyone? I haven't researched it. So this is an extra horror review for this week. I usually do horror reviews on Sundays only, but I want to talk about this. I don't want to dedicate like a whole spoiler discussion video on it. There's not too much to say about it, but I think it's a good enough movie to recommend and talk about. This came out in 2016. And it got high praise. It won Best Director at the Sundance Festival. I mean, it's got all kinds of little, you know, glorifying comments on it. You know, like, oh my gosh, it's mightily impressive, brimming with beauty and terror, mesmerizing, unsettling. It's, yeah, it is unsettling. And it's definitely mesmerizing for a first-time director. This is written and directed by Robert Eggers, who just did last year's Lighthouse. And I'm thinking about reviewing that one next and watching it next. I haven't seen it yet, but... I've heard great things about it. The people have said it's the number one movie of last year. And then I've heard people say it's the worst horror movie of last year. So that makes me even more interested. The fact that it's so 50-50 that some people are saying best of the year. And some people are flat out saying it's the worst of the year. That makes me want to watch The Lighthouse even more. But this is a first time writer director. Just like Ari Aster with Hereditary. I prefer Hereditary over this one. But this one is very definitely it's interesting it's definitely interesting but uh the good things that i can say about it actually i won't go over the cons because i only have a couple of negatives for this movie um, first up this is a film that you need to watch with subtitles unless you speak old english then you'll be okay but even knowing what the old phrases and words mean it doesn't matter because some of the way some of the dialogue the way they whisper and this one guy has a very deep voice. It's hard to understand what the fuck they're saying. Even if they were speaking like today's English, I feel like I would still need subtitles for this film because it is hard to understand what's being said, not only because of how they're speaking, but because they're speaking old English and they have British accents, Irish accents, some of them. So it's just like a subtitle requirement of a film. Like you need subtitles. Good luck without it. So that's a negative, definitely, because I'm, like, reading the whole movie instead of, like, focusing on the performances. And the performances are good, but I can't focus on them that much because I'm, like, reading, uh, looking up and down, like, okay, what do they say? So that's annoying when you're watching the movie. And another negative I'll have with the movie is just pff, the ending. I don't want to spoil it, but I just felt like there could have been more. I don't know. It was just like, oh, that's it? Oh, all right. It's pretty, it's pretty cut and dry. There wasn't any, like, twist. There wasn't any, like, major revelation. There wasn't, like, this big climax of, like, holy shit. You know, like, anything like that. Not like Hereditary, where it just kept getting bigger and bigger and just more awesome and grisly and scary. This one just kind of, like, peters out at the end. I'm like, oh, that's it? All right, whatever. So it's just not that great of an ending, but it's not a terrible ending. It's definitely memorable. I'll remember it. But, yeah, those are, like, really negatives for the film. Uh, I do feel like you need to know going into this that it's not going to focus on a witch. I know it's called The Witch. It's got a picture of a goat on the cover. But it doesn't focus on the witch at all. It focuses on a family and like their mental breakdown because of certain events that are happening throughout the film. So it's focusing on this family. And it's kind of like The Shining. It's like a family and by the end of it, they're just losing it. They're falling apart. They're turning on each other. And... So just know that going into it. Don't expect like there to be this witch flying around on a broomstick or anything like that. It's nothing like that. There's not like a high body count. This isn't a slasher film. This is just a old time, based in 1630, old English speaking, slow burn film. It's definitely taking its time with some things. There's shots that last longer than a film made today normally would last. You know, there's shots where like, okay, that when are we going to cut to the next scene? Um, but with that being said, I don't feel like this is that slow. And I've seen this twice now. I saw it, and then I was like, I wonder what my parents would think of this. And I had my mom watch it. My dad wouldn't. But my mom saw it. I'm not sure how she felt about it. <laughs> but it's not that slow. But there are a couple moments here and there where I'm like, I can see this dragging for some people. But I felt like the pace was okay. So I don't have any criticism for that. Um, but the performances are definitely great. You got the 
chick from Split in here, Anya Taylor Joy, who everyone says her eyes are too far apart, but I don't know, they're not that far apart. But <laughs> now I'm just uh, judging people on their looks, but I think that they all do a great job in this movie. The mom, the dad, the daughter, the son's okay. There's some moments where it's meh, but I think that the kid actors in this movie, they're all right. I thought all the performances were great, but I think the best thing about this movie, honestly, is just the attention to detail with just how it's 1630 and how they, you know, the characters go about their life, their clothes, their way of speaking. They speak old English, the way they eat dinner. It's a strong Christian family and just the way they say the prayers back then and just the old English, everything. It's like attention to detail, the guns, and they're just, they're, they'll tell a story about glass. Like, remember that time we saw glass? That was amazing. Like, you don't hear that story today. Everyone sees glass. So it's just things like that. The attention to detail, you know, they had to go fetch water from the stream. Their houses, they, like, people knew how to build houses back then. That was like a common thing that most men knew how to do, was just build a house and start a farm. Not too many people today. If the apocalypse happened now, most men and women, everybody, we'd just be fucked. Because not everybody's a farmer, not everybody's a construction worker. We would be fucked if the power grid just went off. But if you had this guy's skill, you'd be chopping down trees, you'd be building out, building all kinds of houses within a couple months. You'd be good. They got the stray, the, the, the straw, hay roofs and everything. So all the attention to detail was just spot on. So I think that's the best part of the whole, like the best uh, compliment that I can give the film. It's just that attention to detail. And the cinematography I thought was pretty cool. Like everything is naturally lit. Like they... When it's dark, they got the candle lights and the lanterns. And one last thing I will say is that this movie has a couple of grisly, awesome moments, and it goes for it. It does not let up. I mean, this has a freaking baby getting killed. Spoiler, it's the first 10 minutes of the movie, but a baby gets killed, and it's heavily implied that it got grinded up into chunks. So, fuck yeah. Do, you do not see that in mainstream horror movies. So that was just different, and I loved it. It goes for it, man. So I had a great time watching The Witch. I think this is a movie that is definitely worth checking out, but know what you're getting yourself into. It is a slow burn, artsy film. It's a film that focuses not on a witch. It focuses on the family and the effects that the witch is having on them. So when it comes to the witch or Vivich, it's cheap on Amazon. So go out and buy it. And those are my thoughts on the Vivich. Evil takes many forms. What did you think about this movie? Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching this. Hit, hit this like button, share with all your friends, and become a subscriber today just by clicking on my cartoon face in about five seconds. And until next time, I'll feel see.